That's David Bowie and Mick Jagger dancing in the streets circa 1985. Those are some pretty sweet moves, but what does science have to say about it? Biologists and anthropologists agree that dancing is an important aspect of courtship for a variety of species, including humans. From the waggle dance of the honeybee to the mating dance of the great crested grebe, it serves as a form of nonverbal communication, mate selection, and pair bonding. And then there are the humans. Just look at these guys go, from the silky smooth moves of the man called Prince to this wild dude in a pumpkin head. The male dancer is clearly trying to convey a message to the females of its species. Come to me, my pretties and let's combine our genetic material to produce a new organism. But by and large, do heterosexual women fall for these displays of male sexual fitness? In a 2009 study, German researchers from the University of Göttingen exposed female test subjects to video clips of 40 different heterosexual men dancing to Robbie Williams' Let Me Entertain You, and then they quizzed them on their thoughts. The researchers found significant evidence that women use dancing ability to assess male strength and dominance, traits that signal status. The better the dancer, the more desirable the male, statistically speaking. In 2010, researchers from Northumbria University dived a little deeper. In a study that involved 3D cameras, a bevy of volunteer disco dancers, and animated avatars, the researchers confirmed that good dancers performed wider, more grandiose movements of the head, neck, and torso. They also tended to bend and twist their right knee a lot. Meanwhile, the bad dancers were stiff and plodding. In particular, lead researcher psychologist Nick Neve pointed out head banging as the worst of the worst. Sorry, metalheads. But why is this? What is being communicated to potential mates in this display of dance floor dominance? The Northumbria researchers argue that these central body motions emit primal signals of health, vigor, and strength. Bernhard Fink, the lead researcher from that German study, wasn't finished with the dance floor, though. In 2011, he returned to their Robbie Williams fueled studies, this time with personality questionnaires. Fink found that women pick up on far more than physical prowess when considering a male dancer. They also pick up on some something called the Big Five Personality Traits. Openness, the willingness to try new things and explore. Conscientiousness, the tendency towards self-discipline. Extroversion, the interest in social involvement outside the self. Agreeableness, one's compassion and care for others. And neuroticism, the tendency to experience negative emotions. Think found that the more conscientious and socially agreeable the male dancer's personality, well, the more likely women were to judge him as a good dancer. So think about that the next time you hit the dance floor. Just what is his dance saying to potential mates in attendance? And are you buying any of it? Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at StuffToBlowYourMind.com. Hey everybody, today is the first official day of summer, so let's take a moment to celebrate. To everyone knows, the chicken dance starts off with beaks. So, then it goes into wings, and then tail feathers and then clap, 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 clap. Pole dancing is an activity that by no means originated in strip clubs. For centuries, cultures all around the world have developed their own kinds of pole dancing rituals and sports. 